What's up, you guys? It's Jono! Welcome to another episode of Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Today, I'm going to take my Azumarill that I played through the game with and turn it into a perfect Terra Raid machine. This is my shiny Azumarill. I caught it pretty early in the game, and consequently, because I played through the whole game with it, my EVs are really messed up. I also don't have the right nature, the right moveset, the right ability, the right held item, or anything special about this Azumarill, but I am going to turn it into a raid battling machine, and I'm going to show you how you can do the exact same thing with your Azumarill. The first thing we need to note is that my EVs for this Azumarill are maxed out. You can hit L on the stat screen, and it will show you your EVs. EVs. If the EVs show as blue, that means that they are maxed out and you're going to have to use berries to lower them so you can correct them. Or if they're still yellow, that means you still have room for improvement and you can just use the items to raise their EVs. I'm going to do a little bit of time on EVs. It's actually going to be quite a bit of time, but I'm not going to do a deep dive on how EVs work. I'm literally just going to show you how to make them go down so you can correct them and then how to correct them, which is the only thing you need to worry about. EVs can get super confusing and you can look up an entire guide on EVs and it's crazy, but basically all you need to know is that there are certain berries that will lower your stats and that's good because if your EVs are maxed out, you won't have them in the right stats. You'll have to lower them like I just did and then use your items to raise them back up. So as you can see here, we're back on the EV screen and my EVs no longer show as blue because I lowered them. That's good. I lowered my special attack because I'm not going to be using that special attack and I'm going to raise them back up on attack. This is very similar to how your IVs work and your nature works. I'm going to lower my EVs on special attack so I can raise them back up on attack. However, it is different. IVs and EVs are not the same thing and we are going to raise our IVs during this video as well. But first, we're going to focus on the EVs. Now, I am using my muscle feathers. Muscle feathers will give you one EV stat improvement. You can also use protein and that will give you 10 so obviously you want to use protein it's going to be the best most efficient way to get this done and that's why I'm heading over to the Chansey store and I'm gonna just buy up a whole bunch of protein this is a very expensive process so obviously you're gonna need a way to farm money if you want to do this if you are looking for a way to farm money I recommend to use the current raid event which is Tyranitar and Salamence and you can just do those raids over and over and they drop very expensive expensive items like nuggets and you'll be able to sell those items at a high rate otherwise you could get EVs other ways there are ways to do it without money but I'm not going to explain that on this video because that's not the method that I'm going to use and I'm just going to show you the fastest most efficient method to get this done which is to go to the Chansey store buy up those proteins buy your HP ups and then just use those to maximize your EVs because this is an Azumarill we want to maximize our HP and attack so that should have been something I said right up front in the beginning of the video it's very important to know that you have to maximize your attack because you are a physical attacker so you don't need any special attack because you're going to use your physical attacks then you want to also raise your HP that'll be most beneficial for this build because you already have a lot of HP so we're just going to be with this insane amount of HP and then you should have a tiny 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 bit of EVs left after you max your HP and your attack and you can use those on defense or speed if you want to. There are different builds you could obviously use a more well-rounded build and go with some speed, some defense, some HP, some attack but this is generally accepted as the meta build. So you can see here I'm changing my stats, we're getting my attack closer to perfect, we're getting my HP closer to perfect, but we still have some stats which have not changed yet. I do need to lower my speed so I can turn those speed EVs into EVs for HP and attack, so we're going to do that as well. EVs do take a really long time and the problem is they're expensive and you may not have those berries that I have in my inventory. I actually don't have enough berries to get my Azumarill perfect EVs. I'm going to use all the berries that I have and get it as close as possible, but I don't have enough berries to get maximum HP. I did have enough berries to get maximum attack though, so I'm very happy to show my attack is absolutely maxed out 
and my HP is very, very close to maxed out. I still need to remove some EVs from my defense and possibly even from my special defense to get those HP EVs to go all the way to max, but I just didn't quite have the berries for it. So that's as far as we can go with my Azumarill on the EVs. So my Azumarill's EVs are super close to perfect, but they're not quite perfect, but I'm okay with that. And I think you should be okay with that too. As long as you get a max attack stat and really high HP and defense, then you should be in good shape. Now let's go ahead and move on. I know we spent a lot of time on EVs and it's already a long video, but like I mentioned earlier, this took me about 45 minutes to do. Some of the steps are extremely easy. This is one of the easy steps. You want to get an Adamant Mint and use the Adamant Mint on your Azumarill to change its nature to Adamant. Now, the weird thing is, when you go to the summary, it will still show the old nature. However, you'll see that you're getting the boost on the stats. So you can see I've got my attack stat going up and my special attack going down, and that's what an Adamant Nature does, but it still says on my Pokemon screen that I'm bashful by nature. So that's really strange. I don't know why it does that, but it's been like that for many different Pokemon games, so that's not really a big deal. You can buy the Adamant Mint from the store, so don't worry about having a hard time finding them. You can also get them to drop from the current raid event which is Salamence and Tyranitar. The Adamant Mint will be available for sale at the Chansey Supply Shop and you're gonna spend a lot of time at the Chansey Supply Shop and at the Delibird Present Shop. We do need to head over to the Delibird Present Shop next to pick up our held item. That's gonna be the Ability Shield which will cost you 20,000. Go ahead and buy one of these. You may not be able to find it because it's only at certain Delibird shops so make sure you go to the one in Mesa Goza and it will be there for you to purchase. While we're on the subject of items you need to pick up from the store, there's also an ability capsule that you need to get. It's going to cost you 100,000, so it is the most expensive item for this build. You can get them for free from Terra Raid events, so just don't forget to change your ability to huge power, which is going to double your attack. As you can tell, this build is all about raising your attack stat, and we're using the ability shield because we don't want that ability to be taken away from us for any reason. We're going to spend a lot of time getting this ability and raising our attack with it so we don't want any pokemon to be able to disable our ability so of course we want to get the ability shield item and you want to make sure you have the huge power ability okay we're moving on to the next step which is to go to monta nevera which is where you can hyper train your pokemon head over to this area and you'll see a guy standing next to an obama snow that is the guy who does hyper training there's only one place in the game to do your hyper training and you must come here as soon as you teleport there you should see him in the background of the store he's actually standing right by that obama snow Make sure you have a bottle cap or a golden bottle cap. I don't recommend to use your golden bottle cap on Azumarill because you don't need to max out every single stat, though it wouldn't hurt, but they're very hard to come by. So I recommend to use five bottle caps on every stat except for special attack because we're not using special attack for this build. So you want to go to the guy, talk to him, select if you want to use your bottle caps or your golden bottle cap, and then he's going to ask you which stat do you want to raise and select all five stats but not the special attack stat. If you only have a few bottle caps then you only need to do HP and attack but it really does help to do your defense and speed as well so I highly recommend to do those. Once you complete hyper training, your Pokemon will be stronger. This raises your IVs and not your EVs. So IVs are individual values that your Pokemon starts out with. It comes with those values. These values range from zero to 31 at max. And by using the bottle cap, you're maxing them out to 31. The number doesn't really matter that much. It's all part of a larger math formula that determines how much damage you get dealt and how much damage you deal and how fast you go, how much HP you have. But suffice to know that you will have max IVs and it doesn't appear to show it on the stat screen so I do find that kind of weird. I did see one guide online that said it would indicate which of your stats are hyper trained if they are in fact hyper trained but I did not notice any changes on my Pokemon stat screen after I did hyper training so you can see the difference between my base EVs on top of my altered EVs and then you can also see my IVs on the other screen. I know it's very confusing, but as long as you follow these steps the way that I put them out, you will have the best IVs and the best EVs possible. 
So next up, we're going to try and change the moves. This isn't really too hard. The first thing we need to do is get Belly Drum. Belly Drum is an extremely important move for this build. However, we're not gonna be able to get it through leveling up or through TMs. So we have to get it from a Hariyama that already has the move Belly Drum. And we're going to mirror that move using a special item and picnicking with Azumarill and Hariyama. So the first thing you need to do is empty your team out aside from Azumarill and Hariyama. Make sure Hariyama has the move Belly Drum and I just caught a wild Hariyama and it already had the move Belly Drum. So you shouldn't have to do anything special other than catch a Hariyama if you don't have one in your party already. It will learn the move by leveling up. Mine already had the move at level 27 so it shouldn't be too hard to get a Hariyama that already has Belly Drum. Once you get Hariyama in your party and you get Azumarill in your party, go to Azumarill's move screen and remove one of the moves that you want to be replaced with Belly Drum. You have to have an empty move slot, so you're only going to have three moves. In order to mirror the move, you need that empty move slot. So we're going to mirror the move from Hariyama into Azumarill's empty move slot using a special item and we do need to go to a special location to buy that item and that location is Cascarafa. So once you get to Cascarafa, you're going to go to the Deli Bird item shop and purchase battle items. The battle item that we're looking for is the mirror herb. We're gonna buy this mirror herb. It's a little bit expensive, but you can use it in the future as well. Once you put the mirror herb on Azumarill and then go picnic for about 30 to 60 seconds, it will mirror the move from Hariyama over to Azumarill. Now I'm not sure how it knows which move it is supposed to move over, but this works. I looked it up online and I did the process. It worked out perfectly for me on the first try. Maybe Belly Drum is the only move that it actually can transfer. I'm not sure why it transferred Belly Drum and it didn't transfer any other moves that could have been transferred over. Maybe there weren't any, but it did work for me perfectly. I didn't have any trouble going through this process, so you can go through this process as well. So the process is, purchase that mirror herb, and then go ahead and put it on Azumarill. Make sure you've got that empty move slot, get the belly drum Hariyama in your party, and then go picnic and you'll be set. You can get that move. It only takes about 30 to 60 seconds of hanging out in the picnic and it will transfer it over nice and quick. So while I show you guys the rest of that process that I just described, I do want to talk about the other move that you probably want to get, and that's going to be Liquidation. Obviously, Azumarill is a water type, and it's also a fairy type, so we need a physical attack that's going to do a ton of damage and have the best bonuses. Liquidation is going to lower the defense of the target, so that's an excellent bonus. And because we're a water type, we'll get the water type stab bonus, and we're also going to use a fairy type move to get our fairy type stab bonus. So we wanna go ahead and get Liquidation as our physical attack for Water Type. And for your Fairy Type move, you wanna get Play Rough. So you're gonna have Liquidation and Play Rough and Belly Drum for your ideal build. The fourth move is up to you. You can do whatever you want. People have various recommendations, but everybody agrees that Belly Drum, Liquidation, and Play Rough are going to be your main primary moves that you want to use. One suggestion I would recommend for your fourth move is Terra Blast. It's a damage dealing normal type move that will change to your Terra type. So if you're a fairy Terra type, it would change to a fairy Terra Blast move. This is really good if you have an alternate Terra type that's very different. So you can change that move to whatever type you want. That's probably the best fourth move that you could choose depending on your Terra type though, and you may have to change the Terra type of your Azumarill to make it actually useful. So since my Terra type isn't anything different than my normal type, Terra Blast really isn't that interesting for my Azumarill, but in the future, I would like to change the Terra type to something totally different, like a Steel or Poison type, and then Terra Blast would be able to take on that Steel or Poison type and make it much more useful in defending itself in certain situations. So you guys are probably wondering, what are we doing at this picnic? Remember, I explained that we have to sit in the picnic for 30 to 60 seconds in order to get the move belly drum and as you can see here that worked we did get the move belly drum from that picnic so now we've got belly drum that's actually one of the more difficult parts of the process i had to look up probably five or six different guides to get all of the information that i put into this video it was actually quite tricky it was hard to find the ability shield it was hard to find certain items that i needed to change my ability it was hard to find the berries that i needed to remove my evs it was very difficult to understand the difference between muscle feathers and protein which one is better so i tried to put all of that information into this video to give you 
the best chance possible to sit down with one video and start at the beginning and by the end have your perfect Azumarill. Hopefully I got everything into this video that helps you along that process. I know it's a long video, I tried to get it as short as possible and it was very difficult to edit and record the narration for this video because there's just so many details and it's hard to say them perfectly so they're very easy to understand. Hopefully I hit the mark for you and if I did, please hit that like button and drop me a comment down below. It really does help out the channel. If you do have any suggestions for how I could make Azumarill better, I would love to hear those suggestions down in the comments and I will certainly take them. I definitely want to get this thing improved as much as I possibly can but for now this is my perfect Azumarill I did everything that I can possibly do with the amount of money that I had the amount of berries that I got from items and all of the stuff that I had saved up from different terror raids like my ability capsule that I got for free I hope you found this episode useful and informative thank you so much everybody for watching thank you to all of my amazing subscribers and peace